I can't describe it. It's magical, uh, you know, playing hockey in Canada. As young girls from Quebec, small village in Saint Nazaire, a big family. We didn't have a lot of money, and you know, ending up in, in the Hall of Fame, uh, it, it's pretty magical. And you know, and sometimes you, you think about it, like you know, I, I would have loved my parents. I, I thought a lot about my parents when that happened because they didn't have a chance to see me in the Olympics, and something is like always missing. But I feel like you know, I'm sure they're proud of me right now. And Yel Goyet now strides over the line, back pass to Cassie Campbell. Campbell back in. Oh, what a beautiful goal! And that is number 100 for Danielle Goyet. You know what, she was the smartest player I ever played with. You know, she just had this little way of crossing over some way different or shooting differently or thinking where to pass differently. And she would just give you this little cue on the bench. And she was just so great to play with. And I learned a lot from her. And, you know, to finish my career on the same line as her and Vicky Sanahara, I, I couldn't have asked for better line mates. And, and just a really good friend, you know, someone that we could challenge each other and, and still somehow manage to be friends. San Jose, Quebec, Danielle Boyet. Danielle to me is a natural next next um, athlete to be inducted. She's she was amazing um, as a player and she's an amazing as a person and you know she's got this passion for the game that um, I, I I mean I can't even say that the majority of us have. Like she's amazing at what she does. She's a, she was an amazing player, amazing coach, and I think that just comes back to the love of the game and, and just being great at it. Very very good person. An excellent teammate, an ability to score, an ability to make things happen, uh, under, understood the 200-foot game, all those cliches. Uh, but on top of all of that, um, as much as anything, um, someone that made the people around her better, uh, both on and off the ice. To see Danielle inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame is, is massive, quite honestly. We want to make sure that girls across the country, from coast to coast to coast, and around the world, really, uh, I identify with what it's like to pursue excellence, uh, to want to work hard, to be the best you can be at something. If you knew me like in 1991 when I started with the team, you would not believe the change uh, that happened with, with me. Uh, I was a, a girl that were really shy, couldn't speak English, didn't know the system, like didn't know the game. I, I thought myself uh, growing up, but you know, when you play with the national team, uh, you, you we play. I play with so many great teams, great teammates that. You know, show me what it takes to, to be a, an Olympic athlete. And we always say playing for Canada, it's a lot of pressure. But like without that pressure, this team doesn't mean anything because uh, as an athlete, you work so hard to be able to have that moment uh, of representing your country, to put the jersey over your head. Like every time you do that, uh, you know, you, you have to be happy because when you think about Canada, we have 85,000 or maybe more now playing hockey and everybody would like to be in, in your spot. And for me, you know, to be able to do that for such a long time, 16 years, um, you know what, I owe that to all my teammates.